not picking my nose, by the way. It's fucking itchy. It's like mad. Welcome back to Mad Science Films, episode... Uh, 90 well, something. We're in the 90s, motherfucker. We're in the 90s, man. I got a middle part in and wearing my Ruff Lauren shirt. I'm digging out my hypercolor t shirt. My aluminous shirt. What? What? So, welcome back. How you been? You okay? How you been, Jim? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you been watching? You, you watched anything good recently? Um. Oh yeah, I have actually. What have I watched? What are you watching? Oh, don't just bring this on me. I need like at least a half hour to remember. That's okay. Editing. <laughs> That's a good freeze frame. Uh, fuck! What have I watched? I, I did. I did fall asleep watching something called Peelers. Peelers. Was that, that on well. Netflix or was that on oh, I think Prime? That sounds like a Prime Video kind of. Deal. Yeah, very. Um, very 80s. I think you've told me. Most this. things I fucking watch is very 80s. Is it actual uh, 80s or fake 80s? No, it, it's it's not even fake 80s. 80s. But if, if if the film if the film uh, was shot on film and it aged, it would just fit in nicely with all the other 80s uh, films. Um, yeah, it's like this weird like oil slick thing that turns people into like these zombies. Like oil comes out their eyes and they just yeah, it's really cool. Mm. Uh, but I fell asleep watching it, mate. So not because it was shit. How just, cool can it be? Yeah, I just very tired. <laughs> He's very old. I'll probably have to pick it up by the second half at some point in the middle of the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I'm back with a full review. Three episodes deep into Stranger Things three. No, I say I'm just gonna have to zoom and cut oh, right. that out. Filth. Do I do this? Do I do this when I when you're talking? No, I listen patiently. I want to hear all about the film that was so shit you fell asleep halfway through. I was tired. It wasn't I shit. I was tired. I'm old. I'm fucking out. My shoulders killing me. Everything. Everything's too loud. So I watched Stranger Things three, uh, and I'm enjoying it. I'm like, as I say, only three episodes in, but I'm enjoying it a lot more than Stranger Things two. Eight episodes altogether. Yeah. Eight episodes. Okay. Three episodes deep. Um, and I wanted to watch another episode, but my wife said, don't you fucking dare. Mm. That's pretty much a spot on impersonation of it. off. I do, I do enjoy Stranger Things. It's yeah. more not more straight. They seem to be having more fun with it. Like mm. season two seemed to be like a lot darker and all the characters were separated out mm. and it was all a bit woe is me shit. Mm. Whereas this one, again, only based on this on the first three episodes, they are having a lot more fun with it. Fun, They're yeah. combining characters who haven't really <coughs> had a lot of screen time together before. Mm. Um, they, I think they figured out that obviously a lot of people enjoyed the chemistry between the characters in season one. So they're, they're focusing on that mm. more on season three. Um, and introducing some new characters who I'm really enjoying yeah. too. Oh, and I'll tell you what I did watch uh, last night. Yes. But I was rudely interrupted by Tom. Damn it, Tom. Uh, was The Perfection. Have you heard on this? Netflix original. No. Um, it's about cellists. Right. People who play cellos. Mm -hmm. Just in case. <laughs> That's what it, in case you were looking at me like. No, I just don't know. I just, yeah, yeah. why would that be? Uh, but it's kind of a thriller horror film as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's batshit crazy. Um, I don't want to say too much because, again, spoilers. Um, well, you know, but, it's a case of fucking cello now. That, what? Come on! I mean, that's pretty much central to it. Um, but yeah, there's there's some really good stuff in there. Um, it got like loads of people really got turned off by it, like really kind of slated it because it was too. I think some people have said it's way too OTT. But my thing is like having dug a lot of like Japanese cinema, a lot of like do you remember like in the late nineties, early two thousands, there was a lot of like French extreme cinema, like Martyrs and stuff like that. Mm. It's got a lot of those vibes. You've got like the Korean kind of like melodrama. So it's all a bit OTT. Right. And then you got that. It's an American production, but that's why I'm kind of forgiving it because, yeah. you know, if I was watching a foreign film, I'd probably forgive it. Those kind yeah, of excesses. Yeah. I enjoy It was fun. Mm. It was just a solid film uh, over on Netflix. So in addition to all of that, uh, a friend of Mad Science Films, Tom Hughes is putting together an Indiegogo campaign to fund his second short. Uh, so yeah, I met Tom about a year ago at the last year's Cardiff Mini Film Festival, actually. Get around, yo. Regularly. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. He's putting together an uh, Indiegogo campaign for his second short. Uh, we'll drop some deets in the show notes below. 
uh, about how you can help support it. I think it all wraps up by end of July, beginning of August, so we'll make sure that episode's out by yeah. then. Um, looks like a really interesting short. He's got a very strong visual style as well. Um, he's a photographer as well by trade, and like I love it's fashion photography, which, as you can tell, I mean, obviously, I'm very fashion conscious. Well, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Uh, I don't just throw this on. And it's cool that there's like another genre filmmaker kicking around in South Wales, putting out stuff, and, you know, being passionate about it. Uh, he set up his own production company, Ritual Video. So give them a like on your social media. Put dot com on the end though, because if you just search Ritual Video, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's some weird shit out there. Yeah. His first short he released online recently called "You Killed Us," uh, and a fun little short, nice little setup, really creepy, powerful payoff, mm. nice bit of gore. Mm -hmm. so yeah looking forward to seeing what he does with Wargrave House and future projects so check it out down, down below. there give it some cash give it some moolah give it support um, I think he's got some good perks there as well and uh, check it out y'all hi my name's Tom Hughes and I'm a filmmaker from South Wales and I need your help in making my new short film Wargrave House it's a classic chiller in the style of The Others or The Changeling and will be shot this August in Hereford in a Grade 2 listed building. The story centres around Helen, a driven doctor that stays late working at a surgery one night, only to be haunted by the ghost of a woman that died there. It's full of tense, creepy set pieces that slowly build an atmosphere of dread around Helen until she must make a decision that could change her life forever. To make this film, I need your help in raising two and a half grand. This will allow me to get a great crew to shoot the film, an editor, a sound designer, a composer, and have a budget to submit the film to festivals. In return, I'll be offering perks that you can't get anywhere else, like pre-release digital downloads of the film, posters, signed BTS stills, t-shirts, and even props used in the making of the film. With your help, Wargrave House will be completed at the start of next year, and will begin its run on the festival circuit. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out my campaign. I can't wait to show you the finished film. Okay, guys! So if you liked that video, like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Give us some comments. I don't care what you say, just comments! I'm a bromosexual. <laughs> bromosexual. <laughs>